stuff. But you can still have the drama in between the lines when they play the game. Cheverson Scarborough field hockey tonight. What a game this was. Some nice passing by Cheverson's Taylor Torrey. Sets up Lucia Pompeo. Stags go up one to nothing. They're up two nothing late in the second half. Three minutes left. Stella Grondon crosses it. Lily Stone working in front and a couple nice cutbacks and then the goal. It's a 2-1 game. 22 seconds left. Here comes Scarborough. They weren't done. The scramble in front, and it's Stone again coming up with the big play to tie it, sending it to overtime. In OT, Papio to Tori to Lily Johnson, who's in front, right place, right time on the rebound. That's the game winner. And Chevers prevails in a remarkable game in Scarborough, three to two in OT. Lake Region hosting its first play, our first game of the year, taking on Poland. Lakers up two nothing, looking for more. Casey Johnson, the shot, but Cassidy Lassard with the kick save for the Knights. Then Sadie Tyrell with the shot, and Lassard another kick save. This one a beaut. Other end of the field, it was Allie Vogel with a shutout for the Lakers, two to nothing. They win it. And the Lakers just were happy to be out there on the field. Oh, it's amazing. Um, I am so glad that we get to play again. It's like exciting, the intensity of the game. We just love to play as a team. And On the soccer pitch, NYA traveling to face off with St. Dom's, its rival. NYA trying to set up a scoring chance in the 10th minute, but St. Dom's goalie Matthew Gosselin comes out of the net to break up the chance. Other way, St. Dom's with the corner. Panthers goalie Michael Bello will punch it away. He had eight saves. Late in the half, Nat Peretz awarded the PK, and he takes advantage first of his two goals. NYA blanks St. Dom's three to nothing. Girls soccer in Bath, Morris and NYA, a couple teams that don't typically play, but with regionalized schedules, they were at it today. First half, Edie McKay on the corner, and Racy Gregg, a nice run, hits it in near post, one nothing Morris, and that would be the only goal of the game. Michaela Patterson big in the net for the shipbuilders as they take it one to nothing. Mountain Valley Conference, Monmouth and Oak Hill. No fans allowed at the game, so look, they cut out pictures of family members, and they have a nice little sideline there of family members to watch. Monmouth controlled the game. Cam Armstrong tucks his shot inside the near post. Tough play for the goalie. It goes in. Monmouth all over Oak Hill, 10 to 1. Hayden Fletcher with four goals. How about some seven on seven football today? Cape Elizabeth taking on South Portland, a game you wouldn't have if there wasn't regionalized schedules. Caden McDuffie to Colin Campbell. Check out the moves to the outside. Nice pitch and catch there. Red zone opportunity for the Capers. But Brady Frank, check it out, makes a nice defensive play, swatting away a touchdown for South Portland. Nate Rendy showing off his arm, finds Owen Maloney for a sweet catch down the sideline. Seven on seven football starting to kick into high gear. Major League Baseball playoff.